Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News. Today, we have some exciting news for Star Wars fans. Jedi Survivor preloading details have finally been released, just a week before its launch. This means players will have plenty of time to prepare their consoles for the download. Jedi Survivor is set to release on April 28th, and it will continue Cal Kesti's story five years after Fallen Order. If you're looking forward to playing it as soon as it launches, preloading is critical because the game will have a sizable download file. So, let's dive into the preloading details. According to the eStar Wars Twitter account, the preload date begins on April 25th, three days before the game's launch. However, the exact time the preload period begins is different depending on the player's platform and storefront of choice. For PlayStation 5 and both next-gen Xbox Series X, S consoles, the preload time begins on April 25th at 9 p.m. Pacific time. However, the preload period for the PC version of Jedi Survivor opens at a slightly different time. For PC players, the preload time begins on April 25th at 8 a.m. PT, which holds true for those who pre-ordered the game via Steam as well as the eApp. It's worth noting that Jedi Survivor is only releasing on next-gen platforms, so PlayStation 4 and Xbox One are out of the mix for this title. The three-day window to preload the game is much appreciated because the game is looking to be a pretty sizable download. Unfortunately, console players have less time to get the game situated. But PC players, in particular, will rejoice at having more time to preload the game, considering Jedi Survivor's enormous file size on the platform. Speaking of file sizes, Jedi Survivor sports a gigantic file size across most platforms. PC players will have the largest file size to deal with, clocking in at 155 gigabytes. PlayStation 5 owners also have a significant file size to manage, at approximately 147 gigabytes, which will take up a big portion of the internal hard drive. Those on the Xbox platforms will have an easier time making space for Jedi Survivor comparatively, as players using the Xbox Series X will have to make about 140 gigabytes of room for the game, while those on Xbox Series S will only need to account for a 44 gigabytes file size. For those with slower download speeds or weaker internet connections, it is highly recommended to begin the preload process as soon as it's available on April 25th or shortly after. This applies to both console and PC players, but PC and PS5 owners may want to take special heed since the file size is the largest on these platforms. However, for those with faster download speeds, preloading the game a day before its release on April 28th should be more than enough time to get it prepared to play right at launch. All in all, Jedi Survivor is shaping up to be an even better experience than the first game, which is a high bar to beat. With the preloading details out, it's time to get prepared to jump into the game as soon as it's available. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more Star Wars news and updates. May the Force be with you.